Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braze Beat. I'm Josefina Semrad. And I'm Meredith Breda. And as always, we've got a lot to cover today, so let's get started. Congratulations to our boys basketball team on two phenomenal games. Saturday, our Braves defeated New Richmond 56-46, to advancing them onto their second tournament game, which was this past Tuesday against Woodward, in which the Bra Braves actually won 69-65, to and it was an electric crowd and environment there. It was fabulous. Now, congrats, boys, and good luck at your next tournament game, which is this Saturday at 6 p.m. against the number two seed, Taft. And this is the sectional finals, so I'm sure everyone will be attending. Over this past week, our Aquatic Braves were in Canton competing at their state competition. Congratulations to the seven of those who advanced to this year's competition. Avery Pearson, Lizzie Drerup, Devin Landstra, Bridget Pavlik, Sam Oakham, Mary-Kate Jutsey, and Libby Miller. Oh, Libby. This past week was the official start for this year's spring sports. We would like to wish good luck on a great season to everyone who plays on any of these spring teams. Baseball. Softball. Boys and girls lacrosse, track and field, and guys tennis. This past week has been Bus Driver Appreciation Week, so let's throw it on over to MJ Hayden and Kat Anning to see why our bus drivers are so great. My name is Judy Mills. I've been driving a school bus for 33 years. I've been at Indian Hill for 19. It's a wonderful job. I love it. The kids, kindergarten through fifth grade, the, some of the things that they say on a day-to-day -day basis, it's so cute. Thank you for your services and thank you for Ms. Votto, um, how long have you been a bus driver? 20 years. We just want to thank you for your services and uh, thank you for everything you've done for the school. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for writing and giving me a job. We appreciate you, bus drivers! Thanks, guys, and thank you to all of our school's bus drivers for all of their hard work. If you haven't had the chance to thank them yet, be sure to do so today. Make sure to buy your tickets for the annual Odd Couples Dance, which takes place on Saturday, March 5th. Juniors and seniors are invited to attend the dance with their odd dates, meaning boys bring their moms and girls bring their dads. All proceeds will benefit our amazing after prom. It's sure to be a fun night. This past weekend was this year's powwow, Oklahoma. Congratulations to the entire cast, crew, and orchestra. The show was fantastic and filled with a great score of music. We all can't wait to see this year's spring musical, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, this upcoming April. Last Saturday, our four mock trial teams competed at the regional competition in Claremont County, where all four of them proceeded to qualify for state. This is a record-breaking accomplishment, as no program in Ohio mock trial history has ever before advanced that many teams to the state competition. A huge congratulations once again goes out to your Young Guns freshman team who not only play, who not only advanced to state for the first time in our program's history, but placed first in the entire region. Wish the teams luck as they prepare for state. Now let's throw it over to Anna Diefendeifer to learn a little bit more about this school's Latin club. Ooh. Thanks, Josefina. This past weekend, our Indian Hill Latin Club went off to Columbus to participate in the 2016 OJCL convention. At OJCL, schools compete against one another in different Latin-themed categories. Our team of 40 students earned a total of 847 sweepstakes points, which landed them in fourth place overall. Let's check in with some Latin Club students to see a little bit more about what the club is all about. I'm here with Josh Young, a state officer of the OJCL. Josh, what is Latin Club? Latin Club is just a great club. We play Kirtam in weekly, we, which is like a quiz Jeopardy kind of game. We go to Latin convention, which is definitely best event of the year. Definitely recommend going for anybody who takes Latin. I'm here with the Nat Moore, the co-president of Latin Club here at Indian Hill. Nat, what's the best part of Latin Club? Well, you get to hang out with the coolest teachers in the school. Wow, that pie smack sure looked painful, Josh. But hopefully, the fact that we had 170 total awards with an incredible 65 top five finishes made up for it. 
A huge congratulations goes out to all of the competitors. And a special shout out goes to Adam Sichel for being the highest point earner, who earned 60 points. Also, congratulations to Adam Sichel, Natalie Moore, Josh Young, and Sarah Zanvikili for providing excellent leadership to this incredible club. That's all for now. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Anna. Latin Club sounds like a blast. For those interested in joining, make sure to contact Josh Young. Before we go, we'd like to point out our set decorated in honor of National Tell a Fairy Tale Day. Hmm. Don't forget to check out the official Braze Beat channel for more clips and entertainment. And also, make sure to like our Braze Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Have a great weekend, Braves. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy at Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Literally, Kim, you're being so rude. Scott is such a good dad. I just am over it. How, how are you doing? I'm Bernie Sanders, and I want to give you free everything. Free. I'm telling you, free. Free skyline, free college, free everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, back when I was on uh, Fresh Prince, you know, <laughs> for Jaden, you know, I, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> China, okay, frankly, they beat us, they beat us at, every, at everything. They call me the Chinese machine, okay, I don't call me that. They call me that, okay? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs>